I just wiped out. So this is where we stayed on our first night coming down the Mekong River. Somebody's house. It's an ID. This is the making of sticky rice. So we didn't get to see this place in the dark last night. But this is where we were brought to along this dirt road over here. And so we were staying in their old house, which has turned into strictly their kitchen. This is the trail we came up on last night in the dark. So as we walked down to the beach this morning from a distance, we were pretty uh, excited to see the boat. We got over here and uh, looked at the boat and uh, realized that something very important was missing. Not to the movement of the boat, but to the movement of myself on land, my bike. My bike was stolen off the boat last night. It was the only thing I really left on the boat, which was probably pretty stupid of me, but I, I had faith in this little town. And maybe this, most likely this little town was good to me because they did house me and feed me, but quite possibly the people who came on the boats in and out of town just threw it on a boat and took off downriver. And I may never see the lovely bike that was given to me by Mad Dogs Cycles. Thank you very much in Hong Kong. Sorry I won't be getting that bike back to you. Felix, what do you think? He's having a silent moment. I only knew your bike is hot time, but still, it's deep in my heart now already. Oh, that's nice. It was deep in my heart too, but not that deep. In the end, it was just a material object and I'm happy to let it go. I did go up and talk to the shopkeeper who helped me find a place to stay last night and uh, he was helpful. He called the cops right away. Um, I didn't really want to stick around and deal with the cops, so I just left, but I got his phone number and maybe hopefully I see my bike again. But for now, it's time to continue off down the river to Lung Prabang and beyond. find a new bike or I'll decide to walk or stay with the boat, I don't know. In a way it, uh, it feels like I've lost a burden, even though I did like the bike. <laughs> it wasn't perfect for me. It was a bit small, a bit too lightweight. <laughs> uh, interestingly enough though, though, something that I've noticed that is really quite nice, a bit scary though, is that there are very, very few bugs on the Mekong River. Like zero mosquitoes. I don't know where the hell the mosquitoes all went, but they don't enjoy the Mekong apparently, which is great. Uh, we hit some uh, interesting rapids earlier, mostly caused by the wake from a boat going up through them at the same time as us. Haven't had to bail yet today though, that's great. And uh, But there has been some narrow parts in the river. We've been moving up to 11 to 10 kilometers an hour without even paddling, so that's been great. Good times on the Mekong. Felix is eating peanuts. Just in time, just in time, just in time, just in time, just in time. Not in, not in, yes. Not in, yes. not in. Just in. Cambodia. 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 Let's go. Okay. <laughs> okay, I see you tomorrow. You enjoying the lonely planet? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is where we stayed last night. They pulled out some nice foamies for us and uh, put up a mosquito net. We have a feeling that this is one of the nicest places in town. I put on a performance here. There was 30 kids watching me dance and beatbox. <laughs> and they made us some lovely food. And then I had a crazy episode of acid indigestion. Nonetheless, it's pretty amazing. Taught a quick English lesson. 
taught them, well, we taught quite a bit in a small lesson. We taught the numbers one to 20, the alphabet, the head and shoulders song, head, shoulder, knees and toes, eyes, ears, mouth and nose. A wonderful stay in the village of Latan. It was pretty ridiculous. Lots of fun. Now it's time to head down the river once again. Looks like the kids got out of school to come say goodbye. I think they want to see me fall. Bye bye! Lonely river life. life. So Lonely it. river life. Day three on the Mekong River. Uh, what, are you, what are your thoughts? It's been pretty chill. We've been basically sitting on our butts. That's probably the sorest part of our bodies because we've been sitting in this beauty boat. Paddle every once in a while to avoid the rapids like these. You can call them rapids. I think class one is the biggest we've faced. Moments of class two, probably not even moments of class two, but it feels like it in this boat because the boat is designed in such a way that it likes to scoop up water in the bow. It doesn't doesn't really go over waves that well, but it goes through them decently. Uh -huh. We had sticky rice for lunch. No, we didn't just have sticky rice. We had sticky rice <laughs> with bananas, peanuts, and coconut cream poured over the sticky rice. And we ate it out of a plastic bag with our hands. Delicious. Best lunch so far. The folks the that boat. we stayed with last night in the little village hooked us up with some sticky, a big bag of sticky rice. Uh, it was uh, nice of them. It's tough life on the Mississippi. <laughs> I keep on saying Mississippi. <laughs> it's a tough life. It's a tough life on the Mekong River. Very tough. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. 